Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching. Tonight's special segment is July 4th. Now, most folks will be celebrating by going to a family barbecue, a parade, or here in New York City to a Madison Square Garden country music concert for the troops. But my guests tonight have different plans. Michael Malone is planning a demonstration to abolish the 4th of July. Hi, Bill. And there are always fireworks with actress and TV personality Rosie O'Connell. Good to be here, Bill. Now, Rosie's going to show us a clip from her new documentary, but first, Mr. Malone, you're actually demonstrating against the troops on Independence Day? Come on. Well, it's not against the troops. It's against Look, the... we support the troops, Bill. We just don't want them to kill anyone. What? Don't you realize that these troops are the only ones standing between radical Islam and innocent people? Bill, there you go. You think all terrorists are radical Islamists. That's profiling. Radical Christianity is just as threatening as radical Islam. Well, I don't think she quite means. It's exactly what I mean. You can't be serious. Of course I'm serious, and Michael Malone agrees with me. Now let's roll the clip. All right, roll it. A civilized world braces itself for an onslaught of death and destruction brought on by radical Christians as they attempt to spread their ideology through terror throughout the world. Praise Jesus! the price for the increased security needs caused by the actions of radical Christians. But I hate having to take these off every single time. Yeah, yeah, ever since that Christian hit explosives in the bottom of his shoes. Sorry, you can't take this on the plane. I'll have to confiscate this. A tube of toothpaste? Yep. No liquids ever since the Christians tried to bomb that plane with smuggled nitroglycerin. And I'm gonna take this as well. Thank you. Please remove all articles of underclothing. Oh, brother. Ever since the underwear bomber. The radical Christian underwear bomber. All items of underclothing must be placed flat in the trays. Damn those Christians. Yipes! My God! Ma'am, if you had extra bleach, you might have a shot of getting those stains out. Hey! Ma'am, have you considered a change in diet? What? Uh, honey, wouldn't hurt. Oh, 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 oh. Ever since the suppository bomber. The Episcopal suppository bomber. So, Connell, that's not a documentary. That's the Flintstones. Well, using reenactments to prove points is a sign of a great documentary. And that's what we do, right, Michael? But, you know, Bill, you wouldn't get that because you're a closed minded bigot. You know, actually, Rosie, I'm thinking your masterpiece may win some awards. And let's start it off with enshrining you in the Pinhead Hall of Fame. Keep it up, Bill. You know, we wouldn't be at war at all if we didn't overreact to that phony 9 11 attack. You can't be serious. Malone, I rest my case. Can we please talk about the anti war demonstration? Don't patronize me. You think those towers were brought down by planes? No, hidden explosives. Malone, That's simply idiotic, no sane human being. It's the first time in history fire ever melted steel. Oh, Rosie, please. I've heard that claim, and it's only been made by complete morons. Now, Bill, our peace demonstration. Don't call is... me names. We weren't even invaded by a nation. Uh, Iraq and she's Afghanistan a little far out. never. Well, here's a news flash for you, Malone. Your movies may not be as crazy as Rosie's, but yours are more dangerous because there are some idiots who believe what you say. Because I tell the truth? No, because you tell the audience what it wants to hear. At least nobody believes Rosie. Yeah, well, your people didn't even believe that Elvis is still alive. They didn't believe that we never landed on the moon. I'm going to take both of those subjects and put them into my next Yeesh. documentary. Well, that concludes this look at the moderate left. Next week, we'll be looking at the crazies who populate the fringe.